Realising our dream to move to France came earlier than anticipated. Come with us and enjoy the trials and tribulations that have occurred. Follow me, Joe Harris, my husband Steve and our gorgeous Fox Red Labrador Morse on our journey to integrate into French society. Bon courage! Well, step 10 is the second part of what ended up being a five week stay. This is the pool seven months previously, and rather sadly, this was it when we arrived. Not inviting at all and pretty grim. Any romantic thoughts of long, cool dips after a hard day's work went out of the window. We set about emptying the stagnant water. Remember the copper pans I bought for the kitchen? Well, that's what Steve is using to get the last dregs of disgusting water out of the pool. <coughs> Very naughty. So, it's been rather a rainy day, but the sun has come out this evening and gosh, it's really warm. I'm sitting here with a glass of Molo. Very satisfactory. So, an empty pool at last. I think we must have got the chlorine figures a bit wrong as look, the turquoise tile motif has come off. Oh, that's such a shame. Still, I'm sure it will still look, I don't know, be lovely to dip in. I wonder if you can get pool paint. After checking the succulents and deciding that they must be male plants, we were off to the Chateau de Montmagne to see Ted and Lisa. It is the most regal, glorious place. We could both feel the history dripping from its spectacular walls. We were so excited if a little starstruck, so I hardly took any photos. But this funny one is from another day when we went into Limoges for some delicious lunch. This is Hans, one of their handsome dogs, and this is a painting I did as an early birthday present for Ted. I'm thrilled to say he loved it. We were only meant to pop in for a cup of tea, but we talked and talked until the sunset, and then reluctantly we made our way home. As you may remember, this darling house has an upstairs. Full of junk and detritus, we felt we needed to see what we were actually dealing with, so we set about clearing the room. These photos are to remind you what it looked like. We discovered that the flooring was just dirt and some old bits of wood. And whilst I was in the salon, I heard a crash and some rather blue words. Steve's foot had come through the ceiling. We had to patch it up rather crudely to stop the dust and gravel coming through. And some hours later, exhaustion made us take a break. Well, hasn't he done well? I think I can see him over there. <laughs> Look at this, amazing. I did help a bit, I have to say. What time did we start? But not very much. At eight o'clock? Yeah, I think we started quite early. It's four o'clock now. Yeah. What's that, eight yeah. hours? And the room is clear. Look at that. Done a stonking job. Look at that lovely fireplace. Well, there's no fireplace, but it's a chimney. I don't think there's a fireplace in there. But yeah, you can see how big it is. <laughs> right up to the ceiling. <sighs> oh, you've done a brilliant job. We were very pleased with ourselves and couldn't stop admiring our hard work. You can see here that the previous owners had already laid electrical cable, so at least that was something that we wouldn't have to do. The next day I utilised the room to its full potential. As a bit of a change, I thought you'd like to see how my portrait of hands came together. I'll leave you with this until next time. A bientôt!